All right, last but not least here, let's uh, let's kick it down to a little preview here of the SEC championship game. I wanted to go a little bit longer, but uh, with all the te- technical difficulties we're having here, I'm going to make this one short. But uh, we had Traven Walker, Quay Walker, scoured the internet for uh, player quotes. We're going to have Kirby, Nick Saban, and Greg Sankey speaking on Thursday. So we'll have some good stuff for the Friday show. But uh, before... In the meantime, we got player quotes, and I thought it was interesting. Uh, both these uh, Bulldog defenders asked about Alabama. Any extra motivation? Certainly seem like they're kind of biting their tongue a little bit on this one. Trayvon, is it is it really just another game? Is that or how how bad do you want to beat them? Nah, I can't say. I really do want to beat them bad. I really want to beat them. But it, I uh, it is just another game, but it's SEC, for the SEC, so. It means a lot more to win this game, but it's, at the end of the day, it's still football. Does it mean anything that it's Alabama to you at all? I mean, you guys, the program has just struggled against them recently. Uh, it does, since because we lost to them last year, and then we also, if I can't recall, I want to say we played on my freshman year also, <clears throat> but it would mean a lot just to uh, get a win. Well, I know you guys try to treat all games like they're the same, but this one's actually for a championship, and it's against Alabama. Is it the same? I mean, is there any more juice? Is there any more focus? I mean, does anything at all change for a game like this? Uh, I think pretty much, you know, your focus have to, you know, adapt a little bit. But I think that's always been our motive this whole year. Um, no matter what game it is, we treat all of them the same. We don't need nobody to try to do anything different than what they've already done this whole year. Um, but other than that, uh, we just got to go out and execute and everything else to take care of itself. So, you know. And one more Georgia quote that uh, this was the best quote of the week so far, I thought, uh, from a redshirt freshman receiver, Lad McConkey. He says, and Bulldogs are head down to Atlanta to make a statement. And, hey, both these teams, they're getting coached so well. Don't say anything. Don't post anything. Let's not give him any more motivation. And I'm not saying that he is here, but uh, this is about as bold as you're going to hear this week leading up to the SEC championship game. Just when it comes to um, the stage that you're on Saturday, uh, would, would you f- – the, the setup is that, you know, Georgia's number one. They could even lose this game and still make it to the playoff. I'm pretty sure that's not the way you guys look at it, though. But would you – would you characterize this team as being um, loose or, or uh, I don't know, how would you de- describe uh, I mean, the, the, the team? Definitely not. We're not loose. I mean, we're, we're approaching this week like any other week. I mean, we, we have, we're trying to make a statement. So, I mean, just going out there and competing, our, you know, like competing to the best of our ability and just kind of really let, letting it all, letting it all out. So, I mean, we're not approaching this game with the mindset that all, oh, if we lose, we can still get in the playoffs. We're trying to, Try to make a statement and keep this thing going. All right, so I just love uh, any kind of comments to get us going here, heading into uh, what should be one hell of an FCC championship between Alabama and Georgia. And uh, let's kick it over to Evan Neal real quick. So he had some comments to Alabama's outstanding left tackle on Bryce Young and the amazing poise from the first-year starting quarterback there in Tuscaloosa. And I'll be in the underdog. This is the first time since, uh, I believe, 2015 – that Alabama has been an underdog in a football game. No, no player on this roster knows what that's like. Yeah, Evan, uh, there were several times that John Mechie said after the game that, that Bryce Young is the GOAT. Uh, what, in your opinion, makes him the GOAT? He's just poised, man. He's just poised. He, it's almost eerie. You know, he, he's just really unfazed, unshaken. You know, he's a talented football player. You know, you guys see that every Saturday. And also the way he prepares and the way he pr- approaches the game, you know, him being so young, man, that's, that's really special, you know. So often in games you guys are uh, playing an underdog, but now you're facing the number one team. What's it like to be on the other side of that? Um, well, you know, it's, it's not often that Alabama's on the other side of that, but, hey, we just got to control what we can control. You know, we're approaching this game like any other game. We're approaching this game with intentions to win. You know, obviously Georgia's a great team. You know, probably one of the best defense that we saw all year. You know, so we just got to prepare, man. Just prepare, prepare, prepare all week. You know, take it one day at a time. You know, so that every Saturday we can go out there and execute. All right. So, you know, at the end of the day, no one 
on Alabama's roster is going to be intimidated by Georgia. I don't think anybody on Georgia's roster is going to be intimidated by Alabama. We got the number one team in the country. We got the team I think is number two in the country meeting on a neutral field for the right to advance to the college football playoff. And, hell, there's a chance both these teams are in the college football playoff here come Sunday. But, really, this is the national championship game, and maybe we'll get two editions of it. But we this may be the only one if Georgia can keep the undefeated streak alive and finally get over that Alabama hurdle. Cannot wait for this game. This going to be one hell of a matchup here. And, uh, man, I'm just getting fired up thinking about it. All right, so that's going to cut it on this one. Like I said, I had to record this one twice, so I'm just hoping and praying this one worked. <laughs> I got no way of checking until I'm done hitting the record button here. So uh, fingers crossed that uh, this works works out. But, uh, again, sorry for a little bit of a delay. I didn't want to be up all night, so I uh, woke up early to, to get this thing up to you guys. But uh, that is going to do it. For the latest episode of the show, I appreciate each and every one of you for hanging out. Cousin Shane will be back on Friday's show. We'll be making our picks for the SEC championship game. Uh, again, Kirby and Nick Saban will be speaking. Greg Sankey, we'll see what comes of that. And I teased it earlier in the week, but Shane and I, we're going to preview the, the 13 teams headed to a bowl game. Which game, which teams do we want to see them face from around college football. So uh, it should be a fun show to cap off the week heading into the SEC championship game. I do appreciate each and every one of you for hanging out. We'll catch you on the next one.